Hurricane preparedness. It's more than just stocking up on supplies and having a plan should you need to go days without electricity or evacuate. It's also making sure your home is insurable. That's one of the reasons you may see drones hovering over your home. Insurance companies are now using drone technology to conduct home inspections. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avenue explains this kind of inspection as we move deeper into hurricane season. For years, insurance companies use drones to inspect property damage after a disaster caused by Mother Nature. But now, they have begun using that technology across the U.S. to conduct random inspection of homes owned by insurance policyholders. Drone technology today... Insurance for Information Institute spokesperson Mark Friedlander says aerial inspections of roofs is vital because the roof is the first line of defense in storms. It's a much more precise way of determining the condition of properties versus sending out an inspector and having them climb up on your roof. Freelander says this inspection method is also much safer and more efficient. But what happens if images from the drone's camera detects visible problems with the roof? A flag will be raised and the homeowner will be notified. And in most cases, they'll be given the opportunity to make repairs to continue their coverage. If they don't make the repairs that are identified by the drone report, they may lose their coverage. Homeowners may also be told to remove a tree limb hanging over the roof if the drone report suggests the limb has the potential to fall onto or through the roof during a powerful storm. Are they only specifically looking at roofs or are they looking at other aspects of the property? When drones are used to capture visualization of a home's condition. They're looking at the roof, but they're looking at the overall property as well. And sometimes they detect other issues. For example, undeclared trampolines are in ground swimming pools. A Florida homeowner has installed a swimming pool and never declared it. So it's not covered under the policy. Although most drone inspections will be conducted at the start of a new policy agreement or when the policy is renewed, Freelander says insurance companies can legally conduct inspections at any time during the course of the policy. Drone inspections are also controversial because some deem this method of inspection to be intrusive. If you're concerned about the intrusiveness of a drone, capturing images of your property above the property. Just think about the other scenarios where some companies still send out inspectors, especially for older homes that want to look at the plumbing, the heating, the electronic systems of homes, and they're going to send somebody out and ask for entry to your home. Now, as we said earlier, insurance companies are also using drones to inspect homes that have uh, sustained damage after uh, during storms. Uh, experts say this is also one good way to cut help cut down on insurance fraud. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.